Hi there, Teacher Mom 4. Hey, Coach. Hi, Caitlin. Good to see you. <clears throat> Hi. This says Joan Swan. Hi. Hi, Katie. All right, saying hello out there to everybody who's joined me here today. Hi from Calgary. Hello, Britta from Oklahoma. Hello from Cleveland. Good to see you guys here today. So I don't know um, where you guys are as far as your spring break coming up, but this is our last week right before our spring break. Hi there from New Jersey, Texas, Alabama. Oh, I love the state call. Good to see you guys. You are on spring break. Oh my goodness. Oh, not another month. Okay. So I'm jealous about not being on spring break, but I don't know if I could wait another month. So oh, we've got Kansas, Mississippi. Hi, Nancy. Good to see you. Indiana. I think this is so cool because we can all be here together, even though I can't see your faces and I wish I could. Um, more Oklahoma, Iowa. Yeah. Okay, my kids are loopy, your kids are loopy. This is our last week before break. Hello from Pasadena, Florida, Georgia. Oh, goodness, Caitlin. Well, we gotta do some major work. Maybe this scoreboard level will help out. So those of you who are on spring break, I'm living vicariously for you. Um, I also have one more week left before the break. And I gotta tell you, um, my own children in my home are already off this week and so it's everything I can do to not push them out of bed and make them wake up because if I have to be awake in the morning they should have to be awake in the morning so two more weeks ah uh, so I will actually be um, going off next week and so with that said let me go ahead and introduce myself my name is Andrea Schindler from Whole Brain Teaching. Uh, we are a group of teachers, Whole Brain Teachers of America, and we have been meeting here every week discussing different strategies for working, um, using Whole Brain Teaching in our classroom. And so for more information about Whole Brain Teaching, maybe you're new. Yeah, I know, we're not together, but actually we overlap in the middle, so that's a good thing. Um, for those of you who are new to Whole Brain Teaching, you wanna check out the Whole Brain Teaching website, wholebrainteaching.com, which is spelled W-H-O-L-E, brain, B-R-A-I-N, teaching.com. You definitely wanna check out the website. There's a ton of free materials on the website and um, also access to videos on YouTube, everything you can imagine. And if you feel like buying a book this year, one book, you wanna buy the Whole Brain Teaching for Challenging Kids. Ah, yes, oh, I, I hope to see a bunch of you guys in Vegas. I'm really excited, three days together. Let me tell you, there is nothing like three days together. It's like the best, the absolute best. I rave. If there's one conference you go to, you've got to go to a national conference. So if you're going to be in Vegas, I can't wait to see. We're going to have three full packed days together. Going to Louisiana, I'm so excited for you guys that are going to the national conference. Trust me, you're going to leave so on fire and so ready for whole brain teaching for your next year. So it'll get you all amped up for the next year. So if there's one book you order, you definitely want to get your whole brain teaching for challenging students book. And if you've already ordered that, then Coach B also put out 122 amazing games. And so we have been meeting every week. Right now, we have been talking for several weeks about participation in the classroom. We've been going week by week talking about different strategies. And we parked for a bit on the scoreboard. The scoreboard has many levels. But as I was talking to Coach last night, we were talking about the fact that it's March and the end of the year is coming soon. And so as opposed to getting you through um, the next several levels, which are also in the 122 Amazing Games book, I have been promising you guys for weeks that I would let you guys know about a couple of our um, levels that Coach B had me try out my class this year. And so these are secret levels that nobody knows about. So if you think that there's someone out there that might be interested in these secret levels, go ahead and share this out and invite followers. And I do wanna remind you because I forget myself, we're trying out a new format. I'm gonna take questions at the end because I tend to stop and read the questions and then sometimes I miss them or sometimes um, I, I don't get to the question at all. So I really wanna make sure I get to all of your questions. 
So as a big review, let me review all of the scoreboard levels that we've talked about so far. That'll give our uh, friends who you're inviting to come. Oh, thank you. That'll give your uh, friends out there who you might be inviting to join us a little bit of time to pop on in before we go into the first secret unlocked level that Coach B had me try out this year. So let me have you take a look over here. And... Let's take a look at what we are. All right, the big review. Let's remember that level one of the scoreboard game is just smileys versus saddies. And remember, the only reward for that is bragging rights. And remember, the scoreboard game, I cannot emphasize this enough, is we're thinking, looking, and acting two grade levels higher. So when we're doing two grade levels higher, we're getting smiley points. When we're not doing two grade levels higher, we're getting saddy points. I teach kindergarten, so two grade levels higher would be second grader. And so every time they win, then they get to brag, oh, we were second graders today. Guys, remember it's a long year, so we want to milk out those rewards. And so our only reward is bragging rights. Now, how do we move up to the next level? Well, we have been saying 10 wins gets us up to the next level, but because we have so many awesome levels, now we're saying five wins moves you up to the next level. So level two would be boys versus girls. And with boys versus girls, the only reward is bragging rights. So again, on the days when the boys win, then that meant that the boys were thinking, looking, and acting two grade levels higher. The days when the girls won, that's thinking, looking, the girls were thinking, looking, and acting two grade levels higher, and they get bragging rights. Now, in order to get a win when you go into boys versus girls, that means both the boys and the girls have to have more smiley points than saddie points. So, moving up from there, we have level three. Remember, five stars. We're going to let you move up to the next level. Level three is boys versus girls. Only this time, the reward is the winner lines up first. So, whichever one wins, either boys or girls, that group gets to line up first when you're going out to recess, when you're lining up for lunch. Anytime you're lining up, the winner gets to line up first. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. Hey, that's brand new. I just switched to this account. And so um, catch, we switched to this account because these could be collected and put up on catch. So I'm excited to hear that you're showing those, that, that they're being used. So that's, that's new for me. Um, all right, here we go. Then we have level four. With level four, we have boys versus girls. And the blue marker, anytime you're making a blue marker line, that's gonna mean double, okay? Now, the last time we met and we talked about scoreboard levels, we went to level five, which is teacher versus students. Now, this year, before I dropped down to the next level, we actually tried out right here a new secret level. So, here's what I'm gonna tell you about the new secret level. Our new secret level, has to do with this spinner right here, okay? So, in our new secret level, this is still gonna be boys versus girls. So we have boys versus girls. However, the reward now is the spinner. Okay, so how does that work? Okay. All right, so with boys versus girls with the spinner, that means whichever group has more smileys. If it's the boys that have more smileys, then they're the winner. If the girls have more, more smileys, then they're the winner. And whoever is the winner gets to go up and spin our spinner. So let's take a look at this spinner. Now the beauty 